Gentlemen, start your engines and head to your favorite menswear store to purchase a tuxedo. Buy a classic design, and before you know it, you'll be able to go to all of the events that call for black tie, including your very own wedding. Well, here with some suggestions on black tie and tuxedos, Nick Kalatsis from Nicholas Hi, Menswear. Nick, Hi, Nick. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. And thank you, Joe, as well, for showing a classic design. I wouldn't say quite classic, Nick. I mean, I don't do anything classic. This is definitely classic with a twist. Uh, that'll take you anywhere around the world. Um, I'd like to start from the top to the bottom. You bet. This is a beautiful satin bow tie, very soft profile and a little smaller. I have all these made in Italy for me. Looks like a hand-tied bow tie, although mm -hmm. it isn't because certain men can't do them up and don't have the feel, especially if they're in a hurry. But this is a great, great, great alternative yep. for them. Uh, beautiful PK front shirt, hidden, hidden buttons so we don't show any of these studs and what have you. Mm -hmm. It's a little cleaner. PK in the background, also for texture. It has a very high three button placement, grow grain buttons, grow grain lapel. The other thing to note is that this particular one has a single pleated pant with a mm -hmm. beautiful side profile with the raised yeah. uh, seam on Lovely. the pant. Very narrow profile, beautiful Chelsea boot. I don't like to use this uh, ballet velvet or satin or this patent look for me as passe totally. And this to me is a five-year proposition in the look for what today's classic man wants in a tuxedo with an edge. Sure. And I guess the other thing too, Nick, to question about when you're looking like putting a thing together is comfort. Right. We turn to Joe. How is it? Feels great. It's great. Yeah. It's just beautiful, Nick. I love Should the design. It's very comfortable. It's 100% wool and it's in a crepe, so it's not seasonal. He could take this to Florida. Mm -hmm. And he can go. To uh, Alaska. He can go to Alaska with yeah. it on a on a cruise ship. How about uh, a suggestion on something that would be a little bit more different? When I when I send Joe to change into something. When a Joe bit? changes, we'll do something that's uh, definitely more uh, what I call my speed and cutting edge. Okay. Something very fresh. Perfect. Go to it, Joe. Well, Nick, I'll tell you one thing for sure: you're totally breaking with tradition. It's gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. It's still very classic, though, Nick, but very hip. Yep. Uh, it's a very fresh look. It's a beautiful tie that we call a dandy. It's got two sides that you can wear, the silver with the black. You can yeah. see I just show a little bit of the edging. Yeah. It makes it very interesting. It has a beautiful profile. And it gives you a little more depth and a little more of a 3D uh, yeah. look. Along with the hidden um, fly front, the button closure is totally covered. Hidden. It's hidden. It's fantastic. It's a little longer jacket than uh, normal. Yep. Yeah. This also has a very interesting thing that it comes with two trousers. It also comes with a single pleat, narrow profile pant with the grill grain. On to the give side. it very much that tuxedo look. And I also like that it comes with a flat front pant that he can wear optional for black tie optional or just a black dressy suit for a cocktail or an evening party. You know, this is outstanding. Yeah, and I like the fact, Nick, that with both of them, you've given our viewers options on how to look your best and to stay looking your best for years to come. I really appreciate you doing that. That's just perfect. Absolutely. Joe, thank you for, for looking so comfortable. Thanks, Nick, thanks for sharing. This is perfect. Thanks. Okay, okay you want to measure me up now? Sure. Okay, let's We're go. On. <laughs>